Hi everybody, it's Kathy Heath from Home and Small Business World and I've had a lot of people ask me in the last several weeks how to download an mp3 from either a website or an email and I thought, you know, probably the easiest way to address that would be to simply sit here for a few minutes and do a quick tutorial to show you all how to do it. Downloading an mp3 is really quite simple and once you get the hang of it you'll do it honestly without even thinking twice about it. So we're over here at the Million Mind March um, blog in the members only area which is where we download our mp3s and the first thing you want to do is just mouse over the mp3 that you want to download and right click on your mouse what will happen is a menu will appear and you just want to scroll up to where it says save target as and click on it that'll bring up a menu uh, or excuse me a window um, which I've already pre-selected uh, where I wanted my mp3 to go but over here you can see um, all your computer stuff and you can choose the folder that you want the mp3 to go into um, I'm having it go into my 2010 members only file um, now here where it, you see the file name is highlighted you can name the file anything you want to that's going to remind you or help you remember what that mp3 is so I may want to um, name this one uh, members only um, for 1510 or something like that. P.S. and by the way, um, note this line right here, um, this field where it says save as type. If it does not say MP3 format sound, um, you can at times um, by using this down arrow select the kind of format you want it saved in. Now if it says HTML document right in here. Unfortunately what that means is that the mp3 that you're trying to download is a listen only mp3 and you cannot download it to your computer. So be aware of that. Okay. Now um, once you've got your file named and you've checked to make sure it's an mp3 format just simply click save and it will download it into the folder that you've selected. So there you go. Now let's say you want to download a link that you got in an email. Um, I'm going to switch browsers here because up to this point I've been working in Internet Explorer and I'm going to go ahead and switch to Firefox. They're basically the same but there are a couple of little differences that if you're not aware um, of, of the different uh, words or the different look it might throw you off a little bit so let's just go ahead and do that in Firefox so that way you'll know what to expect. So here's an email in uh, that I've opened up in a Firefox in my Firefox browser and it has a link here that I want to download uh, to my computer so that I can put it on my mp3 player. Same procedure is right click and now it's going to say save link as instead of save target as so go ahead and click on that and again it's going to bring up a window um, bring it down here so you can see it better. There you go. Um, it's going to bring up a window asking you, you know, what you want to name it and where you want to save it. So let's just call it um, tutorial and um, end it with that. And again, double check to make sure it says MP3 format sound. And now when you click save you're going to get a different kind of a download window with Firefox. Um, it's doing the exact same thing. It's downloading the file to your computer and when it's done it will go ahead and close. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. 
All right, so now you know how to use both Firefox and Internet Explorer to download MP3s, what to watch for, and how to put them in files in your computer. So go ahead and load up your computer with those MP3s and put them on your iPod so that you can have them with you whenever you want. And enjoy yourself. Have a great time, and we'll talk soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.